Hi everyone. Okay, so I know it looks like I started in the middle of the page here, um, but I didn't. I'm just using a sprayed on piece of scrap paper to essentially just glue down. I, I was using it to protect my other pages and to test out some stencils, so I glued it down. So that's what I'm starting with, and that was all dilutions on that. This is a damask damask, excuse me, stencil from Hobby Lobby and a little bit of black velvet uh, Heidi Swap color shine through it. Um, so it gives it a really shiny texture. I got a close-up of the shiny. so and I just flipped it over and I'm kind of stamping it on one of the uh, next pages. That page has already been gessoed. So uh, then I'm taking pumice stone and going around the edges. Pumice stone distress ink. I love that color. I know I've said it a thousand times, but it's one of my favorite colors. It doesn't look like it does much in the video, but it does. It just darkens up the edges just a little bit. And um, I, if you're curious about how I store my distress ink, I'll try to uh, include the link in the video to my video about. I have a whole video about how I just store my distress inks, and it works perfectly. So I'm going in with a Tim Holtz uh, stamp set, and it has this really cool little swirly damask thing that um, I thought kind of matched the stencil. So I'm using a piece of paper to protect my other pages. That's how the background of this this little page started. Um, was just one of those pieces of paper. It was something that my wife's printer spits out all the time and wastes our ink. So I figure I might as well use it for something. Okay, so now I am grabbing an iCAD. This is one that I just had, which had a a um, little bit of leftover spray from that same stencil and I ripped it apart because I didn't need the whole thing and I sprayed it down with I think lemon zest distress ink but first with a little bit of water and that had I think dilutions on it so it wicked away a little bit of the black. I'm using that pot holder as a stamp with some peacock feather distress ink and I'm just using that piece of paper to get good contact with the paper just to protect my hands. So I wrote on another little piece of scrap paper, no pressure. And um, I apologize, I'm off frame a lot in this video, so I, I don't know what I was doing. Um, but I, I will tell you that I'm spraying with, I think, Calypso Teal or one of the teal dilutions. I'm spraying that piece of paper down since you can't see it. So at least you know what I'm doing. And um, then I just took up doing uh, the dilutions onto the next page. And then last but not least, I took a little bit of Distress Ink and just went around the edges. I did um, adhere one of those pieces, I think the yellow piece, with my tiny attacher. So, just so you know. Sorry again, I was so off frame, but these are just the little inclusion pages that are in the middle of my journal. So, I'm really liking them. They're quick and easy to do. So, no pressure. Alright, talk to you later, guys. Bye.